What is up guys, it's Fatty Cyclops here again and I just thought I'd give you a quick update on where we are with uh, the build on the adventures um, and as you can see we've progressed quite a bit um, on the build of the house so we've got part of the, uh, the first floor in there you can see um, and the two turrets are almost uh, almost complete we've got our enchanting table in as well which is um, which is all good so we can start enchanting some bits and pieces you can't really see it from this angle let's just move around here give you a proper look at it basically what we've done is we've got a layer of stone and then a layer of obsidian in between just to give it a bit of detailing and obviously we've copied the same sort of design on the other side so I think it looks quite cool but let me know what you think um, in the comments box at the bottom and obviously we're nowhere near finished yet I've got just some ideas about what we're going to do in sort of this area and then the roof as well I'll just show you what we've done indoors as well get in there real quick Right, so look, that's our enchantment table. So we're all good to go already with that. Loads of bookcases and whatnot. And what I was going to do is just sort of fill this area here, just like a with books, just so that it looks like it's a solid wall. Um, I think it'll just look a bit better once the roof's on, and that, rather than having that area just sticking out like that. Um, and then over here, what I've done is I'm building a creeper-proof room. So basically obsidian floor I'm going to fill in these areas with obsidian as well and this is where my storage area is going to be for my chest with all my goodies in so if I get attacked by creepers if they actually get in um, then they won't blow my stuff up because there's nothing worse than uh, having to pick up loads of bits from your chest and basically I'm using exactly the same uh, method as I did with um, the obsidian for the for the walls um, just basically bucket of lava, bucket of lava, bucket of lava all the way across and then just popping some water on the top um, and it just turns into obsidian so no need to mine it, no need to carry it about, it's just simple bit of running up and down from the lava bed with the uh, with the buckets of lava but it's, it's a lot quicker than trying to mine obsidian and it obviously saves on your diamond pickaxes as well so that's where we are with that um, what I thought I'd do for this uh, little episode is just have a little wander around and just see what we can find um, I haven't got a map or anything, I've not got a lot of armour, so hopefully won't run into anything too scary. But I thought we'd do a little bit of an exploration, oh, I think we're going to go this way actually. We'll just have a little look and see what's about, and you know, you never know. You know, I'm really keen on, uh, on hearing what you guys think about the build, and if you've got any sort of ideas for the design of the roof and uh, any other any other rooms that you'd like to see go in there then please let me know um, it'd be a good opportunity as well actually to get some XP because I've while I was uh, doing some mining I did actually fall in a bit of lava I think I was on about 17 XP which was a bit of a nightmare because I was going to enchant some uh, other bits and pieces but you know what it's like got a little bit overconfident with the lava and in I went so it's a good chance to collect some resources and gather some XP as well. Oh, I hear zombies. Where was he? There's definitely a zombie around here somewhere. somewhere aren't they? Mm, oh well, there's some more. Some coal there, we'll have that. It helps us with our XP as well and you can never have enough coal. Well you can but it's always handy to have isn't it? I think I'm out of torches so we could do with some. We'll just have a little look over here and see what's going on. 
Oh, beautiful flower. Love that. Oh, there's a pig over there. We'll have a bit of him. One of the things I've been uh, thinking about is uh, not improvements to the game, because I like it as it is, but you know, some different things to go on in the game. And one of the things I was thinking about is maybe if you had armour on and you actually went in the water just to make it a little bit harder to swim. Obviously to counter to counter out counter act that I can't even talk. To counteract that, I thought there could be some enchantment to make you either float or sort of a swiftness enchantment for the armour so that if you were one of these people that sort of wandered around all the time with diamond uh, diamond armour on, you wouldn't all sort of get it your own way. I, I know it's hard enough trying to avoid being blown up by creepers and stuff like that, but you know, you've got to make it, you know, if you want it easy, just play it on creative. Do you know what I mean? So I'm some news for you as well. I'm a little bit excited. I've got potentially a little bit of help from another YouTuber. I'm not going to say too much at this moment in time because I don't know whether it's actually going to happen or not. But I've had an encouraging conversation with someone who's going to give me a little bit of help. They know loads about redstone and sort of making gadgets and gizmos and other bits and pieces. And it, I think it'd be fantastic to get them on. An episode and just to give us a bit of a hand with uh, well, making some uh, improvements to the build that we've got going on so watch this space for that hopefully in a couple of episodes time we should see that um, that'd be cool and I'm looking forward to doing some uh, some mini games as well we're gonna get Cobden and Smithy involved and uh, hopefully mess about a little bit and uh, play some mini games not quite sure what yet and also what I want to do is show you guys the uh, the Smithy's Temple run um, because they're fantastic there's some really good really good work going on there fun to play as well so we'll, we'll see if we can have a go at those because they are uh, they are quite cool they're quite cool what's down here I'm sure I'm going to plummet to my death if I go down that way. Let's have a look around this way. There's some iron down there. I'll have to grab that later. I've got the torches with me, so I'll have to wait. Where's all the mobs gone? I haven't seen a cow for a bit. I'll just have a little wander around and see what's going on. I think what we'll do as well is we'll find some sites where we can build some mini games to make it a bit more, uh, a bit more entertaining. I don't want them right on top of where I'm building my sort of house and what have you, and the mansion, whatever you want to call it. Give myself some space. Uh, I did some fishing the other day as well. I made myself uh, killed a spider and uh, made myself a fishing rod. Went out and caught some fish and cooked them up, and they uh, always go down well. Pick some of these flowers. Oops. Do some dyeing later, I think. Well, not dyeing, dyeing, but you know, dyeing more. Let's go around this side. We'll go on the other side of it and follow it up. That have a snack as well. Let's have a quick run round here.
might be worth exploring uh, a little bit later on maybe. Oh, look at that over there as well. <laughs> look at that there. Oh, it's getting dark now so you can't see it properly but you can... There is a tree. Oh, water. Oh, there is a tree up there and there's a creeper right here. And there's another one. Let me just get rid of this boy. There's an enderman as well, so we're going to... I'm going to go and have that enderman, I think. Is he an enderman or a friendman? Let's go and have a look, see. I hit him with my iron, my uh, diamond sword. I'm sure he's not really much of a friend of me for long. See the tree up there. Isn't that weird. Never seen anything like that before. Mm, I think a spider is going to get jumped on. Oh, creeper. Mm. Oh, there's all sorts of mobs up here. crouching again. Oh, I hate that. Every time I get into a scrap with someone I end up crouching. Go back into first person. Right, I'm going to keep a pants. I need it once. Let's see if I can get up here. Oh, skeleton. Oh, and a creeper. Now. Ow! Skeletons everywhere, <laughs> run away! <laughs> uh, zombie! Oh, I can't get down there. Rubbish, I'm gonna die in a minute. Let's just get out of here. They're on my case. Myself some breathing space. Come on, health regen. Let's keep moving. Get me sword back out. I'm a little bit lost now. Oh, skeleton. Died, I mean. Right. 
don't know where I am. So I need to. Oh, there's a creeper. Brilliant. What, what's going on? Pressing the wrong buttons and all sorts going on. Big hole, don't want to fall down there. There's a spider over there. What's that over there? There's just more spiders again. Loads of spiders everywhere. I hate spiders. Here we go. That was a spider jockey. That was a spider jockey. <laughs> Brilliant. I've not seen one of those before. I don't know, perhaps I should have done something different then, should I? Should I have not killed it? I don't know, what could I have done with it else? Is it would have killed me if I had killed it, so. spider jockeys apart from I suppose like, what I need to be doing is I need to be getting skeletons to shoot creepers or something and then I'll get some discs but oh, that's far too much hard work at the moment with no armor die down going on a bit of an XP mission oh, I had a pig then as well If I make it through the night, I'm not sure. Oh, there's a zombie. There's a zombie. Oh, look straight into the edge of the light. I have a bit of pig as well. And there's a ravine there. I don't want to be falling into that, really, do I? that I was at just now. Have I gone round in a round the map in a big circle? Oh, what idiot. So what's going on with this then? Ah well start to stick me. Dude. Get off. Thank you. So inconsiderate aren't they? They've got no like manners or anything. Excuse me sir. No manners, you mean skeletons. Just not even a hello, how are you? Just straight away shooting with the old uh, arrows. I reckon I've done a, pretty much a big circle, haven't I? Oh well. A spider up there, so I'm going to have him. I'll get a zombie first. <coughs> And there's a piglet. Got a pig, I don't know whether it's a pig. I don't know how old he is, I can't tell how old the pigs are. Have a little look. We did quite well then, I think. We got 13 XP. We'll have another little bit of food. That'll regen some health. Whoa, that was close. I reckon. Do you reckon I'll die if I jump into that? What do you reckon? Is it one deep? If it that that's not one deep there, but I reckon that's one deep. And if I jump from here into that, I'm gonna die. I do it or not? So, no, I'm just, I've chickened out. I've chickened out. I've got too much stuff. I'll tell you what I could do. Let's just use this. I'll tell you what I can do. What I'm going to do is... we 
just do some random I don't know what do you reckon I'm gonna pause it you know what leave in the comment section just leave a comment whether it's die or survive leave it in the comment section and what I'll do is I'll post a teaser after because uh, I'm gonna jump it oops I'm gonna jump it you reckon I'm gonna die or survive leave it in the comment section die or survive and uh, I'll leave that there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all my gear in a chest so I can cheat and come back and get it without having to uh, try and leg it back from the house and find this place again so I'm going to stumble across right die or survive I'll survive, ready? Yeah. 